Hey everybody, welcome to This Week in Sports. I'm Sean. So this week, Johnny Manziel and his uh, attorney came to an agreement with the NCAA agreeing to suspend him, but it's only going to be for one half versus uh, Rice in this Saturday's season opener. This uh, is a, a bit of a disappointment for a lot of people. I, I know that a lot of people have been suspended for whole seasons for a lot less than what he did. Um, and what he did, um, maybe he didn't get paid for it for uh, his signing sessions, but he did sign and inadvertently broke or violated NCAA uh, rules. So because of this, they're trying to, to nip it in the bud and get this off the table and just finish the, the trial and everything like that. So they came to this settlement and now he's going to be missing you know, one half of football. So right there, it goes to show you that the NCAA is doing everything, everything the correct way. Also this week, the NFL um, came to an agreement with players uh, regarding concussion and head injuries, um, treatment and, and, and precautionary measures, uh, things of that nature. Um, there are about 4,500 players that are involved with the lawsuit at the moment and um, it, they came to the settlement of $765 million. Um, with this, it the, the doesn't have to go to court. Um, the NFL is not going to have to, not going to be required to elaborate on any information, uh, whether they knew uh, with the head uh, trauma, um, how serious it was, whether or not the concussions, if they knew that they were as bad as it was, they don't have to reveal that because it's not going to trial. But now um, the players are going to be guaranteed some safety, some benefits in the, these situations where you have players, you know, retiring because of concussions or in the worst case scenarios killing themselves like uh, Junior Seau. So again, 765 million. 75 million of that is going to be dedicated towards exams for people with concussions, uh, NFL players with concussions. They're going to be able to go in to take exams to see how they're doing. 10 million is going to be for research. Now, and then also for when the players are uh, are showing signs of different types of uh, illnesses or degenerative uh, thinking, things of that nature, you're going to have uh, 5 million going to Alzheimer's. 4 million going to a brain condition called chronic traumatic, now I have to read this one, encephalopathy. That's a tough one, but 4 million is going to go towards that, so when players show that as well, they're going to be able to get treated for that and be reimbursed for medicals. And then 3 million for dementia. Um, this is really good news for all players that are in the game right now, and as well as past players, because now players like Jim McMahon, um, even Tony Dorsett, people are now showing signs of these types of things, Alzheimer's or dementia, um, they can get some help, and this is good. So hopefully they can come up with better ways of playing the game, better equipment, and also provide these players with a safety blanket you know after they're done playing the game they love the the game that they gave their body mind body and soul to you know so this is good news good news good news football season is here starting this next Thursday September 5th you're gonna have a rematch of the AFC championship game the Denver Broncos versus the Baltimore Ravens Joe Flacco newly signed contract versus Peyton Manning second year off the injury uh, coming back it's gonna be a great game I'm really excited for this one and I'm just happy football like real football forget preseason real football football that counts is back I know you are too so anyways, guys, that's it for this week in sports. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, inquiries in the comment section down below. And let's get this conversation started off right this week. We'll see you next time.